Uh, so evidently, um, within like the past month, um, Bungie, the makers of uh, Destiny, um, like a popular video game, they uh, they got hit by DMCA. And for like people who don't know, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, it's basically saying that like if a label owns music and you have it on your videos or your streams and stuff like that, they reserve the rights to take down the videos. So. The weird thing about it, though, is that tech companies, because they're so big and DMCA is so vague because some companies allow it, other companies don't, some properties like video games, they can't even enforce it at all. And so it's still so vague and such a new law that you're able to tell YouTube and Google and even like Facebook and all Twitter and all that stuff that you are making a DMCA claim. And because there's so much content they have to monitor, they basically regulate that service to a robot. And the robot just goes and takes down the videos. So somebody randomly started sending DMCA claims to Bungie content creators or Destiny content creators. And they got so carried away with it. And all the content creators, which, Des which Bungie actually promotes and encourages... Uh, got so upset because it looked like it was coming from Bungie themselves that they were pissed. And Bungie already has huge PR issues with their the way that their game is monetized. Oh, that's interesting. So, okay, that's the angle it is. Okay, so they're trying to protect yeah. the community. Yeah, so that's they're like, whoa, 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 there's a lot of PR bullshit already happening there. And what ended up happening is that the person got carried away and actually DMCA'd Bungie's videos, like their straight up trailers and stuff like that for the game. So when that happened, Bungie was like, what the fuck? And immediately the cool thing about it was that the community knew that it was bullshit at this point, because why would they do their own thing? So Bungie now is going to court with Google about this, and they're trying to get the names of the people that did it so that they can sue them outright. The only thing is that they're protected by the, the claim laws and stuff like that. Mm. So they've already done the paperwork to sue people. They just don't have names to write on it. And so they're now contesting Google yeah, to release quote, the names. Yet yeah. doesn't know your identities yet. The lawsuit claims, uh, lawsuit claims, quote, it will discover them soon via subpoena or otherwise. They, exactly. should, not, they should not release those names. That's true, but... The hard part is too, like, it might not even be real people. Like, they could have had a bot account submit them, and they just got through and stuff like that. But then at that point, it's Google's fault, and then Google has to deal with uh, Bungie. And so this is a whole new issue. And I actually think it's a good thing because people get DMCA all the time, and they weaponize the DMCA claims to yeah. take down each other's like uh, podcasts and stuff like that. And it's, it's like it's so fit recently. Exactly. It's so ambiguous that it, it's got a lot of loopholes and it's not well written. So I think the situation is forcing Google and even other tech companies afterwards to really fine print it and not just be so vague and like careless with it because it's affecting people. The only reason I said they shouldn't release the people's names, because what you just said sounds a lot like what the government tries to do when they try to ask Apple to reveal <clears throat> individuals information to help with their cases with the whole backdoor thing yeah like trying to get a that's backdoor true. apple so like this could have repercussions that like go beyond just the tech world which is kind of scary it's kind of like a like basically asking them to feed them to the wolves it's like Correct. yo let me at them let me at them let them out come on i already said i want them and they're just like no man you're just gonna go into them <laughs> And if we let one in, you know how it is. It's a slippery slope. You start revealing information like that, back doors like that. Oh, my gosh. This kind of goes to a question. I forgot the literal question um, that Jordan Peterson had, but I think Elon was tweeting how do we need a new social media. And then I think Jordan Peterson asked to make a point or ask a question that it's not social media. Because I think they're trying to equate social media being the new town square. Okay. Because that's where everyone pretty much goes to be social okay. that's why it's called social mm -hmm. media the internet the internet is our new town square what were you saying doc no i was just uh affirmating i said mm -hmm. so he's trying to i think the point of jordan pearson was that if you have a social 
like a town square, but there's a level of anonymity to it where you can't be like, I don't know if you use the word accountable for what you do or say, mm -hmm. then it leans towards like insanity or something like that. Oh, for sure. And I mean. Anybody who feels protected or safe will say a lot more than somebody who feels. Like, there's so no that, repercussions. There's no consequences. Boom. And so that goes back to I'm not bringing Will Smith and Chris Rock up, <laughs> right? But part of the conversation, too, was like, yo, we agree that shit was ignorant. It was wrong. But we've always said on this podcast, when men speak, we speak with a certain knowledge that if I say this thing, you might want to fight me. But that wasn't something worth it fighting wasn't worth, for. But that was, but in the in the back of our mind, his That's gauge was just off. I I can agree to that. His gauge was just off. Sure, I can agree to that. And I think they gauge off on this too. I don't. I think what I think because I think there, there needs to be do, a way. I don't know because I what you're saying. It was a good point. Like it's a slippery slope. But the problem is we need to find a way to at least deter this. How do mm, we then deter this? Because the problem is people are definitely taking advantage of this. Yeah. like. I just you just can't give them straight up like I don't know dude that's scary that's scary I think the deterrence is the the biggest question like how do they do it the only thing I can think of is like they they stop using less robots and actual people Invest to investigate people. the the situation but the reason they use it is because it's a logistical nightmare. I mean, they can use the AI so to, like, content. pinpoint, like, I guess how many DMCs do they get, then how many of them prove oh, to be worth, like, striking. And depending on that, like, just have the people check the ones. Oh, just have the AI it. Siphon, siphon it out, and then you go and then now siphon the AI's a second list. Filter, a second that's filter. what they do. Yeah. Like, that's currently... And it still happens? Damn. Yeah, it still happens. I mean, it's just, like, dude, layer. think about how much content is uploaded on YouTube daily. Like, we're contributing it right now. You know what I mean? I mean, we got... so. There's not enough people uh, to really siphon through it all or like go through it all. Um, so they have to use the robots first and then they wait for the appeals to come through and then humans go and look through the appeals. I think and then they, the human goes like, oh, okay, this was wrong and this was wrong. The robot got this one wrong. And I think they need to add another layer and they need to tighten up the, the, the first layer. <clears throat> you make the first layer, uh, I mean, tighten up the second layer. Make the first layer, leave it as it is. Whatever the computer checks, right? So you, you still have a human do it. After the human does it, you put it through another layer of the computer thing where it flags anything where it thinks that should be looked at again. And you have a second human double check the first human's work, essentially. All so, right, this podcast is sponsored by Angel Blinds. Shout out Angel Blinds. It's a local business based in Atlanta, Georgia. Check them out. Their blinds help you get a new look for your living room to your bedroom to your dining room. They even customize kids' blinds with their favorite superhero or princess. Make sure you get Iron Man. He's the best. Shout out. With our promo code FDT, our audience gets 10% off their first purchase. You can find them on Facebook at Angel's Blinds or their Instagram at Angel's underscore blinds. Shout out Angel's Blinds. Who work essentially? So, we have an issue right now with the whole identification thing, correct? Mm -hmm. And then I use the example of a town square, and that was a pretty applicable. Would you agree that was a pretty applicable metaphor? That what? To the situation, I guess, with the town square and social media. Yeah. I and would. then how it applies to the situation because you um, you don't want to expose the people, mm -hmm. and if you don't, yeah. then things were insanity. Correct. So you could argue then to I guess add more to the metaphor that. Which you need technically, and this is where I think where the debate goes to. Well, not honestly, I'm for or against it, but I think this is where the you could add to the debate, which is, do you need some kind of internet police? Because for a town square, you have police or a town's guard or whatever to make sure they keep the peace. Do you need something like that now for the internet? Well, I they're think... trying to do that. That's but... what I'm, obviously clearly with this, like, but then how do you do it? Because the town's guard, the police, they're able to identify you. 100%. Let me see your ID. They need reason to. I view it like countries with borders. So, for example, like... Um, That's the issue, too. The internet doesn't really have borders. Like, we could apply it to what Putin was using to invade Ukraine. So, like, as far as what they're saying is, oh, Google is not handling this thing properly. So, they need to know who it is so they can handle it. They need to be the ones who address it. Mm -hmm. The scary thing is if you let them in... They're in. You don't want foreign people or foreign contingency or any army in your country. You know what I'm saying? Then nobody in the country feels safe. And that's exactly what's going to happen. 
But I think there's a way somewhere in between where, and it's not even some way we just identified it. The the responsibility is on Google to spend the money to just be better at this or whatever the process is of the claims going through. Whoever looks at the claims, it's their job now to spend the money to make sure this doesn't happen. Because otherwise they risk potentially Bungie not ever using their platform. And that's a huge... I I would th- assume that'd be huge. Yeah. It would be not if it escalates to that. for them, but it would be big enough. And they could also make like a PR stink, which I think would actually be the best way to, to make this as, a, as big of an issue for Google as possible. To just make like a huge like look... The MCA stuff has to happen, and y'all can't control it, and y'all haven't figured out how to do it, and then just kind of lean into that and just kind of watch other people start getting behind that banner because it's this is doesn't just happen to like a video game industry. This is happening to individuals who are running podcasts, like we were the Fresh and Fit stuff, like they were trying to DMCA people that were using their content using their content really just to criticize the content even though they themselves view other content and criticize it as well and stuff like that basically all spheres of like information that that reuse and recycle content from each other runs into this issue and so even though it's completely disjointed the results of this case could affect like even us you know what i mean like viewing other people's content and stuff like that like, what if the Oscars fucking DMCA does for because they decided to, I don't know, fucking put a, a legal label on Will Smith shouting at Chris Rock, and then we can't fucking use it, and it's just like really, so. Yeah. And you want to? It'll be me? interesting to see, man. But to your like point of like the whole town square thing, that's kind of like the issue with uh, the social media tech companies, like we want to leave it at town square because you want people to be able to talk about things but there are regulations oh, i'm sorry yeah they're already regulating it and there's even other people that are like oh we need to get more regulated and some people are like well we need to bring the government into to regulate it <laughs> no and then we need to <laughs> we need to, the corporation to regulate it and some people are more afraid of the corporation and some people are more afraid of the government and some people are more afraid of just like people saying whatever the fuck they want unregulated and it, you even harped on it too, like the internet and these platforms don't have borders. So the regulation that works in the US isn't going to work in Bosnia and stuff like that, where like you could trigger a, a revolution or, and stuff like that. Or even like right, right now, Russia, like they've banned a lot of social medias because they don't want information and that kind of speech to start circling. And it's just crazy. It's, it's, Weird because I think virtually we're dealing with issues that are completely global, while in person we're dealing with just like what's happening within like our little physical town squares. And it, I think growing up, we're, I don't know, man, we're growing in a weird way, dude. Like we have to account for both things at the same time. It's strange. Well, we have to be aware of our individual selves and our, I guess, what world selves, as cringy as that sounds, like how, like we actually now have an understanding how we impact the world now. Like once you react, phone is out recording you and the whole world sees it. You always have to be cognizant of that. The whole world might see what I'm about to do. And I know how, I know Instagram banned like 80 million Russian users and all that stuff or whatever. But what does it look like for your country to ban social media? How does that look? I would assume it doesn't look good. Like does the page not load? Like what? Literally, what does it look like? Does that do the apps? On I your think phone? that's it. I think they get like a, like a cannot load, and they and block. maybe like a disclaimer, like that says like government restriction or something like that. Even or on the app, region lock. No, I think they get that white page that just says like cannot load, and they might. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm sure it would depend on the country, but there's like a probably a line that says like region lock or government restriction region lock yeah that's what i was wondering how that shit looks like that's a wild thing to see that they can ban that's that's scary immediately boom it's cut all right disconnected they got they are kind of cool that's interesting they can cut off communication that's wild government has that power that's why when like should government have it (laughs) no Maggie, could you about imagine if the government could cut off communication amongst us? That's wild. 
All right, we're going to a different topic now with that. That's, yeah. enough, that's enough fake deep thinking. A little, <laughs> little doom and gloom. That is kind of <laughs> scary now. I was thinking about it. I don't know, I look at John's face over here. It's like, okay, I think that's the time to close it out right there. Yeah. <laughs> Him and his Tim's on right now. That's scary. <laughs> All Yo, right. Thanks for making it to the end. We really appreciate it and hope you all enjoyed the show. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and the notification bell to get notified when we post our clips. Follow us on Twitter at PodcastFDT. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok are all fake deep thinking. Check us out, please. FDT. Peace, y'all. Peace.